So many people think that the way that you're going to build generational wealth is by owning this home and then paying it off. But that type of generational wealth is one of the worst kinds of generational wealth. Sure, it's nice to have a home that you can pay off, but there are so many other ways for you to build real wealth that you end up missing if you stretch yourself so thin to buy a home that's way out of your reach because now you don't have money to buy rental properties, which can make you even wealthier than the home that you're buying yourself. You don't have money to invest in stocks. You don't have money to invest in your business idea. You don't have money to invest in other people's business ideas. So I'd rather you live a little bit smaller here that we have more money to invest because I'd rather see you follow something like my 75-15-10 plan when it comes to actually spending your money. What the 75-15-10 plan says is for every dollar that you earn from now on, from here on out, and this is after taxes, 75 cents is the maximum that you spend, 15 cents is the minimum that you're investing, and 10 cents is the minimum that you're saving. So your monthly mortgage cost is going to fit right here in your spending. And then you have to pay for everything else. You gotta pay for your groceries. You gotta pay for your vacations. You gotta pay for your clothes. You gotta pay for all the other nice stuff here while you have to make sure that you still have money to invest and you make sure that you still have money to save. I talk about how you can actually invest your money in my free ebook that you can read, which goes over how you can start investing and start generating passive income. If you haven't read my free ebook on how to start investing and how to start generating passive income, I'll put the link to how you can download and read this ebook for free down in the description below. But the key here now is that you're not overspending here and then eating away the opportunity for you to actually invest here. Where can you invest your money? We can invest in stocks, you can invest in rental properties, you can invest in a business idea. There's a lot of places where you can invest, but the key for you to be able to invest is to not overspend here. So many people, and I can tell you this from experience because I am a licensed real estate agent. I don't actively work as an agent, but I did about a decade ago when I used to work as a real estate agent. But one of the things that most agents will say is that your home is the biggest investment that you'll ever make. And when you can sell somebody the idea that your home is an investment, well now you're gonna be more likely to buy a little bit bigger because you're gonna be able to pass this home on to your kids. One day you're gonna be able to pay it off. And so if you're gonna be working to build equity, might as well go a little bit bigger. And when you do that, you stretch yourself a little bit thinner, which means less money to invest, less money to save. I'd rather you live in a home that you can actually afford, that way now you have more money to invest in other things, that way you can continue to build your wealth and not live in a home that becomes a mini pit. Because what ends up happening for so many people is now you have to upgrade the kitchen, you upgrade the basement, you upgrade the bathrooms, and now the furnace breaks, you have to upgrade that as well. And now it keeps constantly taking money out of your pocket instead of it actually making you any money. So now when you go to buy a home, there's three things I want you to pay attention to. We just talked about the mortgage payment, but there's two other things I want you to remember as well. If you really want to be able to afford the home that you live in, there are three different things that you have to be able to afford. We talked about being able to afford the mortgage, so I'm not going to go over this again, but you also have to be able to afford the down payment and you have to be able to afford the move-in costs. Let me talk about this one because this one is usually overlooked, but it's something you should remember because when you go to actually move into a home, the cost of the home isn't just what you pay because now when you move into the home and you want to upgrade the kitchen or you want to upgrade the basement or you want to upgrade the bathrooms, factor that cost in as well because that's going to be expensive. And then if you have to get movers, factor that cost in as well because that can get expensive. And then if you plan on getting new appliances or you plan on getting new furniture, factor that cost in as well because all these things are going to factor into your housing costs and the money that's going to be leaving your bank account. So please factor in the move-in costs in addition to just the down payment and the mortgage. Now, when it comes to your down payment, there's a couple of different ways that people like to look at this. Some people want to put down as much of a down payment as possible. That way you have already equity in the home. That way you have a head start in paying off the home. Other people want to put down as little as possible because they say, you know what? I don't want to put this much cash in right now. I'd rather invest this money somewhere else or do something else with the money instead of putting it into this down payment. What I want you to do here is just understand that the more equity you build in, the less you're going to have to pay off later on. And if you have a better use for the money, like if your mortgage is 7%, but you can invest this money into your business and get a 20% return, then sure, maybe you don't need to put down a 20% mortgage, but understand that if you don't put down 20% for your mortgage, then you're going to have to pay other fees, like potentially PMI, which is an insurance that you're paying to insure not yourself, but the bank that in case you go into foreclosure, that the bank has insurance. So when you pay PMI, you're paying for the bank's insurance. So just understand when you don't put down 20%, you're gonna have to pay additional fees. You might not get the best interest rates, 
but there's a pro and a con with that. What I don't want you to do is put down a smaller down payment just because you don't have the money, because you want to keep saving up money to buy other nice things. I'd rather you put more money here than use this money to buy a car, to buy a vacation. Use this money to actually build some equity in your home. That way now you don't have as big of a mortgage. But the key, remember, just remember all the numbers in a system where you have to make sure you can afford the mortgage. This mortgage should fit within the 25% rule, which should fit within the 75-10 plan, which allows you to have enough of a payment here that allows you to keep investing. And then your down payment should just fit within that plan. So everything is kind of like systematically organized where everything plays on top of one another. And whatever that down payment is, as long as it fits within all the numbers, well then make it work. But then also understand the pros and cons of having a big down payment versus a small down payment. So there you have it. The three things you need to be able to afford that we can actually afford the home that you live in, not just so you can buy the home that you live in. It's easier to buy a home, it's tougher to be able to afford it. But if you really wanna be able to afford the home that you live in, that means you still have money to invest in your future and build real wealth. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>